everybody. Sitting out here in my ice shanty. This is a Quick Fish 3 made by Eskimo. Right comfortable. Cold up here right now. Uh, temperature drop. It's getting late. It's windy out there and this is holding up really well. I like to test out my products that I buy or receive and make sure everything's going to be the way I want it. I don't want to test it when we go ice fishing and something go wrong or, you know, I want to make sure you know, I'm prepping. It's something I got to check out before I'm going to take it out there on the ice and find out it ain't going to work. I done heard a lot about this here ice shanty, portable ice shanty, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it's good. Uh, if you watch, I can stand up. There's plenty of headroom up in here. Put my hand up. Plenty of headroom. It's big. I can fit my wife and son, my dogs up in there. Uh, I got the Rougarou out there chasing anything that's coming up on coming up on me. I'm gonna spend the evening out here. Uh, getting windy. I'm supposed to get a bunch of rain. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna hold up really well. Uh, I'm really happy with this. But uh, there's no ice right now. Obviously, winter's coming up. Uh, tomorrow. We done got a deer. My son got a deer. Got it all gutted up and everything. Come Sunday, we're going a couple days from now, we're going to go down and uh, go ahead and uh, get the meat out of it and everything, skin it, get the meat out of it, get a little hang for a day, you know, let it bleed out. And he's pretty happy. And uh, I'll probably do a video on that. I mean, I ain't going to do a video on the whole skinning of it and everything. It's going to take time. But, uh, yeah, you got to have, you know, Got to provide for your family, teach your family how to fed for themselves sometimes, you know. I mean, you go to Walmart, go all over, buy the things you need, go to the store, buy your food. But if you can provide your own food, you can do fishing, you know, you can do hunting. Uh, find out what kind of, uh, veg you know, vegetation you can eat. It ain't going to hurt you none. I mean, you got you to gotta have a knowledge of it. If you get sick, you know, you're out in the middle of nowhere. Like me, I'm out in, I always call this rooster poop. I'm out in the middle of nowhere. And uh, I like to stay out of them. I got six places I hide out at, you know. And I'll do a video on all of them, man. I got all kind of places I hide out at. I mean, I just go all over. I just, I love being out, out, out in the open, out in the woods, out, in, out, out by the lake, whatever. But anyhow, uh, I teach my son all that. He's pretty happy. Uh, got it with bow. It's bow season. Uh, he got a gun license. We'll see how he does with that. I don't know. Got a small, he's 13, you know, he can't fire like a big shotgun or, you know, he's going to have to practice, go to range. i got a range I go to, I'll do some, do some videos on that. Uh, I was watching, my son had me watching some of the videos he watches. He likes that uh, fella, uh, Moscow Prepper and this other fella, Funky, Funky Prepper or whatever. And I got a uh, comment from a fella that lives up there in Washington and, uh, yeah, just share ideas, you know, and keep this thing going. Not everybody got the kind of money to build themselves a big submarine underground and live up in it. So, you know, prepare the way we can and be happy about it. You know, both frogs got to live too, you know. And, uh, I got some more, uh, do some more videos on things that I want to share with you. And I appreciate you watching my videos. Uh, like I said, if y'all don't mind, I just kind of show you around here. As I call this my, my teepee. is kind of dark. I got a light up over here so I can see what I'm doing. But, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. It's, it's going to serve my purpose real well. Catch me some fish. I'm going to teach my son how to cook it up, how to you know, skin up the fish and cook them up, fillet them. I give him a filleting knife. I got two, three of them, you know, if he wants to pick from mine, he can, you know, I'll pass it on to him, I got nice was passed on to me, uh, I hope somebody out there got some kind of knowledge from my Becker BK2 video, uh, I still got it, my boot knife, you know, some people don't like to wear a knife in their boot, but I do, I, I got my K-bar I wear on, a uh, fighting knife I wear on my belt, and I got my pistol, I carry my pistol sometimes when I'm out there, so, you never know what you're going to run into. You know, it's better to have it not need it than to need it not have it. And all you veterans out there, I want to thank you for your service. And welcome home. And uh, 
you fought for this country, you served this country, it's time to get out there and enjoy it. Get out there and find the things that suit you to make you happy, make your family happy. Get out there and enjoy this, this wonderful country we live in. We live in, a, in one of the best country in, in the world, in my opinion. And uh, there's plenty of other countries out there that just, they, they welcome you. They, they, they welcome you. They want you there. They want you to, to see their country and have a good time and, and enjoy, you know, enjoy what you fought for. Enjoy what you served for. There's nothing wrong with that. Don't, you know, don't let anything pass you by. If you can enjoy anything, you can learn something, you can pass something on, you take your family, and, you know, spend time with your family, and enjoy your life, enjoy enjoy your country. And I thank y'all folks. I'm going to stay here all night. It's going to rain, it's going to rain, uh, the wind's picking up, it's windy out here, it don't seem like it, because this is holding up really well. And I got to anchor down and give you some nice bolts for it, you know, I'll do all that tomorrow when I put it away. Uh... I take it. I'm gonna stay up out here all night when the rains, you know, pouring down rain. And the wind's picking up now. It's about y'all know, 15, about 15 mile an hour. I'm gonna have a watch after eight, and it's about 15 mile an hour winds. are saying buds, and uh, it, the temperatures dropped a lot. I mean, it's, it's getting downright chilly. But uh, y'all take care.